Hey guys, it's Ralph with Honor Last Life, and today we're going to continue on with the Pokemon Let's Play. Uh, so, little problem, when I had recorded this episode, uh, and I streamed it, I had accidentally forgotten to turn on the mic. So, we're going to be doing things at post-commentary today. So, let's go ahead and get in our Firo, and then we're going to go ahead and... Where's he going? He's going to sell it on. Alright, so, not quite sure what's going on. I don't remember everything from the episode I did record a few days ago. I usually do bulk records and just go from there. All right, so let's see where he's going. Not the mansion. I think he's going to the store, actually. Let's take a look. Yeah, uh, I think I wanted to buy a few... No, did I want to buy... I think I wanted to buy the Poké Doll, actually. Let's take a look. Uh, not TMs. What are you selling? Okay, no. So I think I'm going to go get the, the Poké Doll so I can trade it in to get the Mimic TM. Yeah, I think that's the plan. Let's take a look. Counter? Nope. Definitely not the one I need to be in. No one else around here? Yeah, let's go back up. And what are we gonna buy here? Bingo, there's the Poké Doll. Perfect. So, alright, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Let's try to, can we dig out of here? No, he fails at digging. I dig it. I mean, I don't actually. I, I didn't dig it. I, in fact, I totally messed up on the digging. There's no digging. All right. Uh. Okay. I think now we're gonna go ahead and get in our Firo. We're gonna fly back to Saffron. Right? Perfect. Yes. Okay, so now we gotta find the Mimic Girl's house. So I think that's at the bottom-ish, on the other side. I think a Team Rocket member used to be there, and now he's gone. Yeah, that's some more. It's now where we need to go. Also, I think that in between episodes here, I did end up doing the... Whatchamacallit, it? The... The game corner, and I like farmed up a whole bunch of coins. So look forward to that between, uh, not this. Well, at the end of this episode, I do a little, uh, like a minute and a half like guide on how I went ahead and got all my uh, coins, and then like I spent the next like day or so getting my coins. I just left it essentially like, on repeat, and I'll go over that once the time comes through. Okay, so you see me here, and I go ahead and. Uh, Give her the Pokedon and got the Mimic TM. I'm gonna teach that to... I think Magneton? Yeah. Can't learn more. For moves, what am I gonna get rid of? Definitely gonna be that Sonic move, I think. Come on, get rid of Sonic move. Good. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna teach him Swift, because I don't know I don't know where to get the TM for that, unless... If I already... I think I already used it, but we'll find out. Ice Beam. I want to teach that to Rhyhorn, but I can't teach it just yet. I actually have to wait till he evolves, which I think is at level 40. So, we're kind of screwed on that one. All right. Let's go ahead and fly out of here. Back to Pallet. Okay, so, the reason why we're going back to Pallet Town is because in the beginning of the game, I was too stubborn to pick up the town map Mostly because I just wanted to save on inventory space, and I was trying to do like some sort of speedrun thing where you avoid getting stuff. But I keep forgetting where all the roads are at. No, I'm sorry, all the routes. And I think I need to go to Route 12. I think that's where I was trying to go. And the reason why I wanted to go to Route 12 because it was a TM I wanted to pick up, and I had messed up on reading it. So, go ahead and go to Vermillion. Can't fly. Obviously, bro. Come on. Go ahead and pick our flyer. Get back to Vermillion. Oop. Why am I going back into Poke- Oh, I'm depositing. 
All right, so we're gonna do some some inventory management, some Pokemon management. I think I'm getting back my cut guy, which should be Yodish. Get rid of Arbok. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of Arbok so we can pick up our Oddish, which will help us uh, cut any trees that we need to. I'm not sure if in the Elite Four area we're gonna need our Oddish, but let's hope not. All right, so go ahead and get on your bike. Let's go. Wrong way, bro. Wrong way. Thank you for listening. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and try to avoid all the marshy areas. And I think he's gonna be end up wasting time while I'm here. You know what happens? I just misread all the information on the on the guide. I remember reading. I was like, I need to get a TM that's over here. I don't remember which one I was trying to get, but I totally messed it up. I couldn't get it. It happens. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I really should have like edited this piece out. But we do get to pick up some items, so which is nice. What do I pick up here? A TM16. What does that crap do? Payday. See, that's what it was. I had misread 15 of 14. I was trying to get Hyper Beam, I think. And I don't need Payday. It's like a Meowth move. So I think I'm just still like confused and I kept looking for it and I couldn't find it. Keep looking. I'm gonna look at my map. I think, yeah, I look at my map to see if I'm still on Route 12. Oh no, wait. Look at that. I actually just ended up moving it. Yep, so yeah, still on Route 12. And that's the end of the Route 12. So yeah, at this point, I'm probably frustrated trying to find this damn item that doesn't exist. I think there was an area you gotta cut down there where I ended up looking through, but I think it's gotten to a random fight. fish dude's house. So yeah, I think I go in here, but there's no items in there, so I don't bother. I'm trying to see if I can swim anywhere. No items there. No items there. I think I still actually go in there. Yeah, that's the beginning of Wrath 13. So if we go back in there, I think we end up using the cut move just to see if we get lucky with it. Which we don't. Spoiler alert. Yeah, get the cut out of here. Yeah, when we get into a fight. With a Pidgey, no less. Yeah, I couldn't find it. So at this point, I think I end up looking it up online. So uh, let's go ahead and cut until we are done. So at this point, I gave up and I realized that I was in the wrong area, probably. Where do I go? So at this point, I think I realized that I need the coin case to buy it. Obviously wasn't holding it, got in the inventory, Ralph, come on. Should have known better. Why am I flying away? Fuchsia. Oh yeah, at that point I said, screw that, let's just continue on with the game and let's start battling guys down south. Let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon back out because we don't need that. We're gonna go ahead and deposit Oddish so we can pick up our Arbok. And deposit it, because I can't use it just yet.
Alright, so let's go ahead and down south and let's just start battling trainers because, well, where we're going, we might as well. Yeah, so go ahead and use that because we don't want to bother with all that crap down there. But you could, we're going to get into a fight like every like 20 steps, if that. Alright, let's see what this guy got first. And this is where my Rhyhorn just gets demolished by a water gun attack, no less. A water gun. It's insane. It's like the cheapest move you could possibly do, and he's just getting wrecked. Horsey. Alright. So, I'm still just trying to get the XP for him, so he's gonna stay in for the most fights. But he's definitely hurting. Magaton, you know, being my champ over here. Look at that thunderbolt. So Bangaton actually has some pretty decent uh, special attack. Uh, his move pool sucks. That's no, it's, it's no, no getting around that. It sucks. But pretty decent move, uh, special attack that I can just use with my thunderbolt or thunder attack, whichever one I happen to use. Go ahead and heal him back up, as we're gonna need him. All right, go to the next fight. And it's another swimmer. Poliwag. Another easy fight. I think I tried to use Rhyhorn because I remember Poliwag is a fighting Pokemon. Or actually maybe I think it's evolution is fighting. So like now it probably isn't. Now he just wrecks me. Takedown obviously hurts me. But at least I killed him. Which is nice. Poliwhirl, definitely gonna want to switch that out. Good job, Starmie. Let's go. That pitiful double slap. And I remember he's. The reason I used Psychic was because he was a fighting Pokemon. So I was hoping that, eh, let's see what happens. Got about like five or so minutes left in the video. I think we just do a couple more fights. Let's see what we got here. Got another swimmer, sent a horsey out. So we're just gonna try to level up our right horn because we want to get him to level 40. So he can, I think it's 40 that he evolves at. So that was our plan. It just wasn't working out too well for him for the obvious reasons. Alright, so switch him back to Magneton so we can get that stab thunder move and just take him down. And essentially that's gonna be the next succession of attacks. This is gonna be Rhyhorn switched out, get my Magneton out, or whichever other Pokemon that's needed, and go from there. Why did I send Fear out? He's just totally not needed. But whatever, we'll, we'll make do. Constrict. It's like another version of Wrap, but Razor Wind, crit. And we got our bird to 40. So yeah, trying to get all the members of our team a little to level 40, just so we can have some consistency. And it's a lot easier than I expected. It really is, because I'm not going out of my way to like grind wild Pokemon. I'm just fighting all the trainers. Although we did get kind of lucky with that Magneton and caught him at a high level. So that's nice. Body Slam should one hit KO. Yep. Get that extra. Uh, what do we call it? So I picked Body Slam because he has a chance to uh, paralyze him. I think in later games they do flinching, but this game they do paralyze. Switch him back out. Switch him. Yeah, there we go. 
Get my Himalini back out so we can get into 40. That's not very- oh yeah, that's right, flying Pokemon beat fighting Pokemon for some reason. Don't ask why, I'm not sure. It doesn't make any sense logically, but that's just how it is. Glub. I see a couple of islands. That's right, those are the sea foam islands, which we'll be going to shortly. Probably in the next episode. Or maybe not, we'll see. There's another trainer here that we skipped. Okay, so what does he got? Three Pokemon. It's a Goldie. So once again, we're gonna get our Rhyhorn. We gotta level him up. It's a Rock Pokemon, so he's gonna take too many hits. Get our Himalini back out and get him to 40. I actually don't think I get him to 40 at all at the end of this episode, since we only got uh, about two minutes left. And Goldie is down. And uh, switch back out to get our Rhyhorn out, and then switch. Good, so Rhyhorn is out. Get our Him only, and continue to pummel. Withdraw, which increases defense. Uh, don't care, but this jump kick would have would have killed it. Now he's dead. It just took an extra turn. That's all. Sea King switch back to Rhyhorn. Sea King should give us extra XP, which is why I gotta get this done. It has to be done, guys. Yeah, fucking fish. Peck wish should do good damage. Super effective. Jump kick should be pretty damn good. See, withdraw. It just it's a pretty good like boost. Help! Uh, what are you doing? Oh yeah, that's right. So I'm going back to heal, and I think that's where I'm actually going to end the episode. Let's just take. Yeah. So I'm going to go up, heal a Pokemon, and then uh, end the episode. I think in between this episode and the next episode, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and do the sell it on game corner so I can get that hyper beam. Who am I trying to teach hyper beam to? Uh, Fero. So yeah. Uh, we need like 5,500 coins or something like that. So that's what we're going to end up doing. So, uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that other good stuff that comes with YouTube and social media and all that good crap. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and take care.